great win. We've obviously all heard the scores across the in the SEC. We're one of two undefeated teams, us in South Carolina. Bulldog spreading him out, and now here's a three attempted left corner, and he could for Tommy Dillingham. Five, four, Schaefer will fire three from the right wing and hit it. Claire Schaefer with a three, and the Bulldogs are raining threes here in the fourth period in the Humphrey Coliseum. People started making shots, and after that, we just went on a run. It was hard to stop us from there. 80 to 55, the crowd is going to come to its feet, applauding their approval, and the Bulldogs. The sound of the buzzer, we're going to go to 3-0 in SEC play. Uh, what are we now? 16-1? Yes. Hey, I don't want that one going to a two. I sure don't want it going there this week. I'm going to Missouri. I knew it was hard, it's gonna be hard because Coach said we never shoot good when we go there. So I was really trying to get focused on shooting the ball well, get my teammates involved. Missouri, here we come, baby. Here we come. We gotta play now. Top 25 on the road. It's gonna be a knockdown drag out if we play. They're gonna be ready to play. They're at home. We've been on the road before many times and come out and put the hammer on people. I don't know if that's going to happen tonight. That depends on you and your effort. Yeah, we knew they weren't like a normal team. We knew they were ranked, but we knew they didn't transition. They, sh they don't shoot layups as much. They go straight to three-point line and shoot threes. You know, for us, we try to get back to the paint, find people then, but we run back to the paint on them. It's easy to look threes, and that's what they're best in doing, threes. Well, like, everybody on the team can shoot, and they, they, they're a very smart team and very well coached. So. Just like if you come out there, you can't just be bad. You have to be on your P's and Q's the whole game with them. We bring our game, we'll be fine. That's the bottom line. Our game's good enough every night this year. Every night. We don't have to play great. We just have to play our game. You hear me? That's how good we are. If we'll just play our game, Tori, Morgan, you just lead this team, we'll be fine. But we got to play our game. Getting it is Sophie Cunningham, the sensational freshman who leads the team in scoring, and Porter is all alone in the paint. Chapel lob from the left wing inside of Sharice Williams, and it goes off her fingertips and into the hands of Missouri. Now running the floor is Sophie Cunningham. She'll stake, take a step or two to the basket, lay it in with the right hand, and Missouri is up 12-6. to six. It's a six-point lead. It's tough, you know, Coach say if you had a bad night in SEC, you're getting buried, so it's really like, you know, chip the points, chip the lead. So we tried to get back in it, but every time we got back in, they would do something great and go back up. You know, from that standpoint, I just didn't think we guarded as well as we typically do. Uh, we gave up, you know, I think they scored 11 of their first 14 possessions. Three of them were second chance points on offensive rebounds. And uh, so, you know, I think, I think that's where it really started from. And, uh, you know, we got down 20. To the right of the bucket, they inbound it. Maddie Stock will square and fire for three. Short off the left iron out there. Tapped by McCowan into the hands of Frerich. She put it on the floor and slid from the left to right and scores it off the window. And the Bulldogs try 33-13. But when Coach started subbing in a little bit, um, that second group, they had guys down to an like 11-point lead. And they gave us some momentum. Dominic Dillingham bounce pass to Kara Salter, right block. She spins to her left, puts it up, and it's going to get the roll and go. And the Bulldogs are going on a little run. Kara Salter will fire a three from the right wing, and it's good. Boy, she buried it. And the Bulldogs will throw by 11 at the half, and still not insurmountable, obviously. Um, early in the third, we had it to eight, had possession with a chance to cut it to six or five, and um, had a bad turnover at the top of the key. They go lay it in. We come back down, give it to them again on the wing. They go lay it in. So instead of cutting it to six or five, we're down 12, just like that. Vivian Smith, Vivian spins to her right, right elbow, jump right into her, Victoria Vivian. Every time we did something good, they would always hit us back with a layup or three, but we need to score and stop them, but we were scoring, they were scoring, so we really didn't get anywhere. I feel like last year we played bad on offense, but our defense was there, and like this year we didn't um, play good on offense or defense, because we had a lot of mess ups and mistakes that kind of hindered us from winning the game, but just, I still think we play hard. I don't know, we just couldn't get a bucket, couldn't buy a bucket, couldn't even get a layup, we'd roll in, roll out. So 
We couldn't even get fouls, go to the free throw line. Uh, you know, for some reason, we've not shot it well in that building three straight times, and we've won two of them. But uh, I think we averaged 27% over the course of those three games. It's amazing that we're two and one in those games. And, uh, you know, they, they play hard, uh, they're scrappy. Brushing shots, not taking good shots, uh, not finishing at the basket, getting rebounds. I sometimes get not tough for rebounds and putbacks. It's just, and they had some second chance points. So it was just a mixture of all of that just kind of brung everything down. The secret to winning on the road is defense, rebounding, and an inside game. And uh, boy, they really make it hard on you to, the the deep, the rebounding in the inside game. So you better guard them, and that's what we've done the two previous trips. We've guarded them and won the low scoring games, but we didn't guard very well the other night, and that's what I was really disappointed about. And that's why we lost the game. This weekend. Other polar vortex coming. Snow apocalypse. Winter is here. Are you ready? No matter what winter throws at you, you can power through it. Nissan's family of crossovers with intuitive all wheel drive. Bring on winter. For a limited time, choose Road with 0% financing for up to 60 months or get a $289 per month lease on Pathfinder. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. This game's important to me because it's 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 our fifth in the league and it's at home. But more important to me is it's a home game. We defend our home court. It doesn't matter who's out there, what color their uniform is. We defend our home court. We don't get outplayed at home. We don't get outplayed ever, but we certainly don't get outplayed at home. You got a great crowd. There was students sitting outside in the freezing rain at 3:20 when I left here. Can't lose the Ole Miss. It's our state, you know. I think when we play at home, our kids get excited. How can you not be excited walking out in front of 7,120 people? Hey, get all this stuff off. You go flip that switch when you walk out there. I don't want them pretty little girls. I need some monsters for two hours. The last hit the tone in that game gave my teammates some energy. And we went on from there, we just punched them in the mouth the first couple minutes and they never caught back up to us. From the corner, that one's good. Victoria got in foul trouble early. Kayla Nevitt comes in, plays great, makes some big shots for us. I, I just think early on we were dialed in, we executed offensively. And she played a major part in it, just coming off the bench and scoring of what I could do because I'm usually scoring while I'm on the court. I was frustrated that I wasn't in the game, but like I wasn't upset because like, hey, if I don't play, my teammates got to step up and they stepped up last night. Everybody stepped up and played a big part in the game. So I wasn't frustrated at all. I was just enjoying the bench. <laughs> uh, defensively, we weren't bad. Uh, the second quarter was really good, held them to eight points. our kids, it didn't matter who we were going to play last night, uh, I think our kids were going to win the ball game and going to play well. McCowan influenced the shot though in 10 seconds for, for Mississippi State. William kicks out to Dillingham, Dillingham hits the bucket, the crowd on their feet, one second left. First of all, it's good to have Bree back. Um, seven rebounds in 17 minutes, uh, eight points. Um, played really well. Big block, got the crowd excited, comes down on two on one. Her and Jazz sharing the ball together and ended up getting a layup out of it. And, uh, but Bree is a rebounding presence that we desperately need. And 
I thought she provided that last night. And there's a freshman that gets a steal and then calls a timeout. How about Jasmine Holmes? That's his second time. I think we all hopefully saw our freshman point guard grow up last night a little bit. And uh, the confidence that she exudes when she's playing well, you know, the steal down there underneath the basket and the lay-in got our crowd super excited. Uh, Morgan's not going to be able to play 40 minutes a night. And uh, so we need Jazz desperately. I've said that from day one. And so I'm, I'm hopeful that last night is the beginning of a, what really is going to be a great career for her. Mississippi State with their biggest win since January 13th of 2000. Biggest win in 16 years against Ole Miss. Yeah, you know, we got out on top of Florida. We took the first punch. Same thing with South Florida. Um, on the road. Those were two big road games for us and so I was really proud of how our kids played in those games and that was part of the disappointment in the Missouri game. We didn't come out and throw that first punch and so uh, I thought last night we did throw the first punch and I thought for the most part we kept punching. what winter throws at you, you can power through it. Nissan's family of crossovers with intuitive all-wheel drive. Bring on winter. For a limited time, choose Road with 0% financing for up to 60 months or get a $289 per month lease on Pathfinder. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. One, you stand tall. You look sleepy. Wake up. I'm telling you, I'm not getting punched in the face tonight. You guys come out ready to go. We're in two defense to start. Pick them up. Seal! Tori, come on! Can't be trapped. That's a good point guard. Jazz! You gotta be still. Wait on her! Don't go out, wait on her. Let's make our move right now. We're gonna get three here. We're gonna guard and let's go score another one. Let's make our move right now. Don't foul. Don't foul. Can you play? Okay. Let's don't foul, let's play, rebound, and run, okay? Nice job, Katera! Nice job! You just got to know, they're trapping here and here. They got that taken away, they got our middle taken away, and they got that. This is what's open. Go! Go! Boom. Let's go! Let's go! Wow! The only way they get back in it is if we turn it over. That's it. Seal. Seal. Get the ball! That's a pretty good play right there, Ditto. Pretty good play. That's a heads up play. is perfect right there. That's exactly what you're looking for in secondary. Great job. All right, dogs, I need you back here on Sunday versus the number two team in the country, South Carolina. I'm looking at every one of you, and I know if you're going to be here. If you're not here, I'm calling you.